Hola a todos y bienvenidos a las Chorri Aventuras de Bradford. Continuamos con Tomás a la Pasa. Una excavadora que no excava nada y que está en busca de un remedio para el granjero. El granjero que le duele las articulaciones y queremos su leche. La leche de su cabra. Good day. Yes. Do you know of any remedies for aching joints? You're too young to be suffering from this, surely. It's for someone else, Mr. Bryden. Yes, yes. I know just the poultice. Capital. May I have some? Well, I don't have the ingredients, I'm afraid. What do you need to make it? It's a simple blend made of natural elements. Sí. Elderflower and flirtwort. I can make the poultice for you if you bring me these things. Then it just needs to be applied directly to the joints. That should ease his burden. Thank you. Where can I find some flirtwort? Flirtwort is not commonly found around Bewley. It's a perennial shrub that bears small white flowers. Conocemos donde. You can find some growing out on moors if you're lucky. Thank you. Where can I find some elderflower? There used to be quite a few elder plants growing here in Hearn Wood, but they've long since gone. Nowadays, you might find the shrub growing within a hedgerow or a private garden. I see. What does elderflower look like? Elderflowers are small, white, and grow in clumps on the elder shrub. Elder shrubs can grow in all shapes and sizes. Just look out for the clumps of tiny white flowers. Do you have any fresh milk going, sir? No. No, sir. Not to worry. Ponte la cabra esa que tiene leche. This looks like it might be elderflower. I'll take some. Muy bien. El padre Carras. Excuse me, Miss Bateman. I'm in something of a hurry. Farewell. God knows when we shall meet again. Which work is that quote from? Romeo and Juliet. Oh, he's gone. It's locked. Mrs. De Plancy is a kind, God-fearing woman. Those have seen better days. The flowers have long since... Those have seen the flowers have long since dried out. I don't want them. Good day to you, pet. Hello, Mrs. De Plancy. If you're looking for Father Rook, sí, sí, sí. he won't be back until Let tomorrow. Me stop. Does the name Saxnot mean anything to you? Hmm. Is that a village near Erdlaw? <laughs> no, never mind. These box pews are most unusual. I've never seen any quite so tall. We Bewley folk like our privacy. Many of the pews are owned by individual families. Some might accuse you of hiding secrets. Now, now, pet. I jest. At my age, it's hard to climb in and out of them. I'd rather stand. I found out my father visited Bewley some 25 years ago. William Bateman, perhaps you remember him? Nope. Bateman? Oh, William Bateman? I remember a William Baldwin. He were a right miserable sod. My father was only in Bewley briefly, from what I understand. I'm trying to piece together what he was doing here. You'll have to ask him. I don't recall anyone of that name. My father took part in an excavation at Hobbs Barrow. Do you recall the excavation? I concern myself only with matters related to the church. I'm sorry I can't be more helpful. Thanks for your Lord be
Plantas, plantas, plantas... Plantas específicas. Hello, Miss. What do you mean? They are not Christian. I agree. Much older, I feel. Older than Christianity. Oh, hay muchas cosas. Youth of today. Hay muchas cosas más, bastante más antiguas que el cristianismo. Es decir, el cristianismo tiene dos mil años. Por eso es cristianismo. Cristo. Jesus Christ. Estamos en el 2022 después de Cristo. Pero antes había fechas negativas. Entonces sí, hay bastante... Bastantes cosas antes del cristianismo, señora. De hecho, usted pertenece a Inglaterra. Inglaterra es antes del cristianismo. Llegaron los romanos. Llegaron los romanos antes del cristianismo, señora. Where is Father Roach? You might have noticed the good father has a green thumb. He's gone to visit his friend in the countryside to purchase some seedlings for his tower garden. Oh. Where is Father Roach's tower garden? Why, on top of St. Edmund's, of course. He's got a lovely collection of cuttings up there. You'll have to ask him to show you. It does sound rather pleasant. It's a shame he's not around. Well, he does have a spare key for the tower door somewhere. Do you know where Father Roach keeps his spare key? No, that's his business. If I did know, I'd fetch it myself and take you up there. Not to worry. I do recall him saying he hid it outside somewhere. For safekeeping, like. Were it in the graveyard? Oh, I don't know. Best wait till he gets back, pet. Thanks for your t Lord be Genial. Esto es útil, ¿ves? Ahora vamos a desenterrar, pues, un cadáver, porque realmente... Mmm... La tierra removida recientemente, pues... Es de un cuerpo, no de... Una llave. ¿Seguro? I may be a barrow digger, but I am no grave robber. This appears to be a recently dug unmarked grave. I may be a Oh. John Purchase, dearly beloved husband of Florence. John Purchase. In memory of this plaque is surrounded by cracking plaster. In memory of Henry Crozier. In memory in memory of Romeo Hegg. Dearly missed by his beloved Juliet. This plaque is surrounded by cracking plaster. I don't. I think I can chip away at this plaster. There's a key behind here. It has to be Father Roach's spare. Es fan de Shakespeare, entonces... Romeo y Julieta... Capital. Mayúsculas. Mayúsculo. Son las 5 de la tarde. Mira, están ahí las floripondias. A small label on the pot reads Flirtwort. This is just what I need. Ya tenemos floripandias. Oh, vaya, no tenemos. No 
Nos han pillado. Ja, 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 XD, ¿no? I should put the key back. There. I hope that stays on. Pues nada, nada. Señora, tenemos sus cosas. Good day. Yes. I think I have some flirt water here. Show me. Ah, that's flirt water, all right. Let me know when you found some elderflower too. I have some elderflowers here. Show me. No, no, this is not elderflower. It's cowbane. An easy mistake to make. The two look very similar. Oh. It's safe to eat, as long as you're not a cow. Very toxic to cattle. Where can I find some elderflower? There used to be quite a few elder plants growing here in Hearn Wood, but they've long since gone. Nowadays, you might find the shrub growing within a hedgerow or a private garden. I see. What does elderflower look like? Elderflowers are small, white, and grow in clumps on the elder shrub. Elder shrubs can grow in all shapes and sizes. Just look out for the clumps of tiny white flowers. Interesante. Farewell. Muy, muy interesante. Y esto debería estar cerrado. Wild garlic, fennel, corn mint, borage. Quite the collection. Interesante. Muy interesante. It's only thanks to Jane that I've gotten as far as I have in this enigmatic place. Hello, Jane. Miss, watch me juggle. Pues lo hace bien. Very impressive. I can juggle even more apples. I dare you to juggle an extra apple. Easy. Ya la se verá que sea. A worm. Oh. Various chards and beets. You'll pay for any damaged goods. Sorry, miss. Interesante. Eso es para distraerla. Hello again. Hierbas. This looks like elderflower to me. Interesante. I dare you Ahora somos ladrones. Extra apple. Easy. Yuck, a worm. Not tempting. Oi, put those back. Sorry. You'll pay for any damaged goods. Sorry, miss. I dare. Yup. I managed to swap them without her noticing. Se lo cambio. Pum pum. Good day. 
I have the ingredients here. Wonderful. Hand them over. There you go. Tell Mr. Bryden to apply this poultice to the area in question. It works wonders. Thank you very much. Genial. Y ahora a qué? Hello. It's me. Yes. I've got a poultice for your joints, Mr. Bryden. It was prepared by Mildred Walker. Who? You may know her as Mother Mildred. Oh, thank you, lass. That Mildred knows what she's doing. I should have thought to see it myself. She said to apply it directly to where the pain is. It should work very swiftly. I'll give it a try. Aquí delante de todos. No se baje los pantalones, por Dios. Oh, that did the trick, lass. I feel like a lad of twenty again. Genial. I suppose you'll be wanting me to milk old Eunice for your in return. If you don't mind, I'd appreciate it. Además, exchange. Además, con 20 años usted podría hacer feliz a su esposa de nuevo. Stand well back, lass. Believe me, I'm not coming an inch closer. Cuidado. Vale, es un sonido encantador. There you are, lass. Some fresh milk. Thank you very much, Mr. Bryden. Oh, pero el señor es alérgico a la leche de cabra. Lástima. Y por eso murió. ¿Y este? ¿Quién es? I've not seen him around the village before. Oh, será el, el milquero. Algo me dice que es el Milcanova. Fresh Scotch eggs. No me importa. I've got a pail of fresh milk here for you, Miss Tompkins. You haven't. Here. Mom, you've saved my hide. Thank you. Are you all right? I'm worried about Mr. Ambrose. Any road. I'm heading back to Panswick Manor now. Would you still like to meet his lordship? Very much so. Now, I can't guarantee you'll be home, all right? He's a very busy man. I'll take my chances. Follow me, then. Come on over. It's not much further. Mm -hmm. Interesante. Algo sospechábamos. Vaya, otra luna. Sorry, ma'am. Give it here, then. What is that? What the hell is this muck? Goat's milk, ma'am. You daft bit. Since when does his lordship take goat's milk with his tea? Oh, he will not be pleased. Get back to your sweeper before I clip you over the head. Sorry, ma'am. Así que esas son las dos lunas. Hmm, it's a symbol of some kind. A moon, perhaps? How very bucolic. Some fine looking flowers. Where is Lord Panswick? Sorry, ma'am, I can't talk. Miss Fenchurch is ever so mad at me. Entonces hablaré con usted. Hello there. Bugger off, you whelp. This is private land. Hmm. It's a symbol of some. I don't wish to give that. I don't wish to some fine some fine I've no time how very bucolic
Where is... Sorry, Miss... Miss Tompkins looks more anxious every time I see her. Miss Fenchurch is a cruel-looking woman, her face set in a permanent scowl. Usted es el lechero, ¿verdad? My name is Thomasina. What's yours? Ralph. Not seen you around before. I'm just visiting. I'm looking for some help with an excavation tomorrow. Might you be interested? Sorry, miss. I've already got my own job. What brings you to the market today? I purchased a scotch egg for me tea. You want a bite? No, thank you. Enjoy your scotch egg. I will. I was wondering if it might be possible to speak with Lord Panswick. Are you deaf, girl? Don't make me fetch the guards. They're armed, you know. Genial. By Christ, you're like a dog with a bone. Do you want to get yourself shot? I can assure you the only things getting shot around here are the pheasant. And perhaps the odd grouse. <laughs> Greetings, my lady. Lord James Panswick. At your disposal. Vaya. You're Lord Panswick? As I live and breathe. You could have told me that before. What is life without mystery in this statement? <laughs> A predictable stagger to the grave? I was imagining someone... Much older and far less handsome? Yes, to be frank. <laughs> See? I can read your mind, my dear. Now, may I ask, what brings you to my manor? I wanted to ask if I could borrow some of your labourers. Oh? For what purpose? I intend to excavate Hobbs Barrow tomorrow and I'm in need of some assistance. An excavation? How very delightful. We're in the middle of our own works right this minute. Follow me, Miss Bateman. Come along. I promise I don't bite. Algo me dice que ese es el tercer hombre. Y que mientras... For generations, this chapel was a place of unique devotion. And this was until some of my more ungrateful ancestors forgot him and abandoned it. Why did they abandon it? Men of great wealth and power can grow so comfortable that they forget they still need the divine. The sacrifices required to maintain such a relationship were no longer being made. The chapel soon turned to rubble, and with time, even the villagers forgot him. His influence endured, but only with the isolated few who lived on the very fringes of these moors. Believe it or not, my family's fortunes have dwindled ever since. Since I succeeded my father, it has become my life's work to restore this uh -huh. place of worship. With this sacred place rebuilt, he shall be venerated once more, and the name Panswick shall be uttered again Comprendo. across all of England. He guided the hands of my ancestors. Now it is time for him to guide us. Bewley is a godless place. Have you forgotten about St. Edmunds? Father Roach might disagree. <laughs> I shall bring him back to these lands, and this chapel shall be his seat once again. This is a new world. But it seems like you wish to bring back the past. From out of the old world shall come the new. A greater truth. But I digress. Is a pronomine. My dear fellow. Aye, your lordship. This fair lady here is in need of some assistance. Would you and your chaps be up for a spot of digging at Hobbs Barrow tomorrow? Hobbs Barrow? Ah, your lordship, tis no bother. Good man. You're in luck, my dear. These are my finest, and they're all yours. Thank you. I am grateful. On one condition. See, quite. Yes? I've heard wonders about Mary de Plancy's Bakewell puddings. I'd rather like to try them for myself. Your lordship. You're giving me the help of your men in exchange for cakes. Yes. But farewell, my beauty. <laughs> Wait. Comprendo la trama. Esta es la capilla de un dios antiguo que mediante los sacrificios que hacía en la familia de este, su familia prosperaba. Al hacer la excavación. 
Algo se truncó. Y esto se fue a la pu. En fin, a la iglesia. ¿Cómo podría comprarle... Good day to you, pet. Hello, Mrs. De Plancy. Do you still have some of your homemade Bakewell puddings, Mrs. De Plancy? Oh, you're too late, pet. I've a few left, but they're set aside for someone else. Might you please be able to bake me some more? Sorry, I, I, I'm not in the mood for baking. Truth be told, my dear husband Albert Ooh. passed away recently. My thoughts are all over the shop. I'm so sorry to hear that. Aye, he's in God's hands now. Were you married to Albert a long time? Aye, too many years to count. He was a cobbler here in Bewley, the most dashing gobbler in all of England, I used to tell him. <sighs> Love is precious, pet. There's nought that can replace the all it leaves in your heart. I can relate to that in my own way. I wish you strength in this difficult time. Thank you. With God's blessing, I'll get by. May I ask who you have set aside the puddings for? Oh, uh... Father Roach. Vaya por Dios. He won't be back until tomorrow. Won't they be off by then? Not at all. Besides, pet, as I told you, I'm not in the mood for all this baking chatter. Sorry, Mrs. De Plancy. Thanks for your time. Lord be with you. ¿Dónde guardará este hombre? The pews are contained within compartments that can be locked. I've seen a similar design in other Norman churches around England, but... The pews are... I've seen a sim... This must be where... I've no time for... ¿Dónde guardará este hombre... Sus pasteles? In memory of William Ager. In memory of George Paxton. The simple wooden cross bears a small plaque on which is inscribed the name Albert de Plancy. Relative, are you? No, just looking. He with a cobbler. Who's going to mend me boots now? <laughs> hmm. Hello. Does this fresh grave belong to Mrs. De Plancy's late husband? Aye. Rather bare, isn't it? My job is to dig the graves, not decorate them. Goodbye. Dara. I have nothing. Hmm. Convencerla. Convencerla, dijiste. Hablar con ella de forma repetida para que haga lo que no desea hacer. This is my father's journal. What do you make of these sketches? Queer things are bordering on blasphemy, if you ask me. That book all. shouldn't be in a place of worship like this. Hágalo vieja, haga mis pasteles. O la rajo. I'm not sure they would be... Good day to you. Hello, Miss... I saw your late husband's grave, Mrs. De Plancy. I am very sorry for your loss. Thank you, pet. I'm ashamed to say I couldn't afford now more than a simple wooden cross. You were a colourful man, our Albert. He deserves better. He loved his flower beds. He's only been gone a fortnight, and already his plants have gone to rot. May the Lord forgive me. Plants are difficult to maintain. 
I'm sure Albert would understand. His precious hippie astrum were the first to go. I would have loved to lay one on his grave. What does a hippie astrum flower look like? Oh, beautiful things they are. Tall stems topped with large red flowers. Las hemos visto. Hard to grow in this climate. They were his pride and joy. The remarkable thing is there's no scent to him. That's why he loved him so much. You see, he hated anything that smelled sickly sweet. Hippie Astrum were just perfect. Let me know if you come across one, won't you? Of course, Mrs. De Plancy. Thanks for your Lord be. A lo mejor esto es como titular en la conversación o quizás es volver a preguntar. Sí, volver a preguntar. These match the description. There's no scent. You get away from my hippie astro. No sabía. Uh, apologies. Move. Well, that confirms it. Bien, pues vamos a dejarlo aquí por hoy y vamos a ver cómo robamos unas plantas de la boca al nardo este. Probablemente tengamos que usar la caca del caballo, la bosta, el abono, para hacer cosas aquí chungas. Pero bueno, ya lo veremos. Así que nada, hasta la próxima. Adiós.